guys, it's Megan Tower from Tower Talent here with another edition of our Agent Day interviews. Today I have Justine Hunt from Heinz and Hunt Entertainment with me. So we're going to get started and ask her some really great questions. So Justine, you recently booked one of our wonderful actresses, Daphne Albert, on a Netflix series called On the Verge. And I was really wondering, I wanted to share with our clients how that process, you know, came fruition. Well, uh, she actually, <laughs> it's interesting story because this was pre-pandemic, but she went in and had an in-person audition, which right now is not happening so much. And all of her callbacks and her follow-ups, meeting the director, the net, the Netflix executives, everything was through Zoom, which is sort of the new norm right now, how we're all, you know, doing the business. So self-taping and then take, you know, having a work session, everything through Zoom, but it all worked great. And she, you know, had a really wonderful time with the network. And they said, that's our girl. And the show will be coming out this fall. So it's exciting. I can't wait. Uh, we're definitely have been anxiously waiting to see yes. that. Now, in this case, uh, and what I find, of course, with you all of the time, because you're such a great manager and you're really hands on. Uh, a lot of people don't understand the difference between agents and managers and the benefit of why you should have a manager, especially when you're a new actor or actress. So can you shed some light on the difference between the two and, and why both are important? Yeah, absolutely. I, I feel like the, uh, one of the big differences, is the size of the list for an agent per se, because I used to be an agent many years ago. Uh, the size of the list is, is definitely different. We have about 10% the size of a traditional agency. We are very hands-on as far as helping from everything from clothing choices to what the casting director likes. And we've had our company for 24 years. So we, sort of know what these casting directors like and having another set of eyes and ears out there, not only just with breakdowns, but with relationships with the network and with casting directors. So we're the day-to-day -day contact, whereas the agent is facilitating appointments and getting those out. And they really don't have the time to answer all the questions that certainly a new talent would have as well. Exactly. And, uh, is there a specific order that you think that the talent should get the manager versus the agent? Because with our clients, of course, sometimes they get the manager first and then the manager helps facilitate getting uh, an agent so we can have a team working together. Um, it's, it just, it really depends, but what order do you think it should happen? Well, <laughs> I mean, being a manager now, I certainly say when you get with a great manager, they can help certainly facilitate getting, adding to the team. Um, and we work with so many different agencies from the largest to the smaller, more boutique agencies. So I feel like getting a good manager to start certainly could help you set up the rest of your team. And, and having that relationship with lots of different agencies is gonna be beneficial. We'll be able to sort of walk you through that as well. Yeah, exactly. And it's also the right fit. You know, you might, people might think they want to be with the biggest agency that's out there, but you know, as you and I both know, when you see the talent, they might have a special something that might be just a better fit with, you know, a company over here and having that guidance, I think is so important. Definitely. Um, to me, it's not the size of the agency, obviously it's more who's excited about the talent as much as I am. Absolutely. Well, with that said, thank you so much for your time today. You I hope uh, we can build some more success stories after Absolutely. today's audition with you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye, thank just